bang. Hello guys, uh, it's Rosie here from uh, metalradio.gr and today we have in our beautiful company Mission Jupiter uh, who released their second studio album, I think it was end of April, approximately yes. four months ago. Uh, the album mm -hmm. is uh, called Talk To Me. Uh, thank you guys for being here with us today. Uh, it's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thanks for inviting us. Thanks for the opportunity to talk. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Um, so I, I will start with a question that you have probably been asked already a million times, I guess. Uh, so I do apologize about that. But you have a very specific and very unique name for your band. So how did you come up with uh, the name Mission Jupiter? Mm. As far as I'm concerned, mm, the idea came to our previous drummer philip uh he once uh one day he came with his name uh spelled in russian um uh, say jupiter the same in english mission jupiter mm -hmm. and then uh it just stuck with us for several years and we've been thinking about uh, other names and other ideas and uh, from time to time uh beating about the bush we've been uh, coming back to this name uh, then until we uh, agreed, er, everyone, everybody agreed to keep this name with us for for our music journey. That's it. I think yes. if this yes. that it was some kind of a joke as far as I'm concerned. Yep, yes, lot. Uh, no, a joke, I, just I, an idea, something like that. And that stuck. was yes, yes, that was the idea because you know at the very at the very beginning we just decided to um to experiment with uh, to experiment we decided to you know make some kind of instrumental music mostly so then we realized that it sounds pretty cosmic okay, and yeah. Uh, then yeah i remember several variants of the name like cosmic strangers in unison and mm -hmm. something like that but that is just the history so yes our previous drummer Philip, he provided us with the idea to name the band as Mission Jupiter. So we we decided why not. So then yes, yes, we realized. Then you know we we wanted to create something special, but at the same time some something very simple because mm -hmm. as Eugene have mentioned uh, has mentioned uh, Missia Jupiter in Russian and Mission Jupiter in English. So uh, it is it is quite simple to to name the band and understand the meaning so and i i believe that the music corresponds to uh to this name indeed indeed it does um and what is the story behind your formation so how did you how did you all come together and became mission jupiter uh did you know each other guys from school for example how did you uh, how the band was made uh, yes, I remember uh, I studied at university with Nastya, with our lead vocalist, mm -hmm. and we, you know, spent a lot of hours participating in different contests, music, music cont uh, contests in, in our university, and so then we got acquainted with each other. There was, um, you know, a wonderful time, and I understood that she, yes, she has wonderful voice quite unique and special so i just kept that in mind so maybe in future so we will have a chance to collaborate so then yes i um as well started to uh, communicate with our bass player artyom uh because of my uh classmate the guy uh i uh, used to study at school and uh, then we, we just, you know, started to play a bit, a, a bit of instrumental composition with our previous drama with uh, the bass player Artyom and me. So then uh, there was sort of an instrumental band. After that, uh, we played with, uh, with the keyboard player, but, you know, a couple of, couple of weeks or even a month, mm -hmm. just you know, a small period of time. After that, our previous drama left and we Fortunately, we met Eugene, and uh, then we realized that right now we have a proper, very solid instrumental band, and we now have to have a proper vocalist. So why not to invite Nastya? And yes, so here we are. 
on that note, sorry guys, I didn't, I, I that was my miss, uh, I missed you, I should have done that from the beginning. We have Vladimir, who is the guitarist yeah. of Mission mm -hmm. Jupiter, and we have uh, Eugene, who is the drummer, and we, can, we will come back to that, but you do, are you a sound engineer as well, Eugene? Do you do some of the yes, yes, things? Yes, yes, okay. yes. I'm also doing music production mm -hmm. in Mission Jupiter. Uh, before joining Mission Jupiter, I was, mm, I'd say, I was a freelance composer, electronic music, okay. uh, music uh, producer. And then uh, before that, I was a drummer. I left drumming for almost two years just to be focused on music production and uh, engineering. And then my friend Artyom, is a bass, uh, bass play, bass player, asked me to join the band. And then after half a year playing together, we just uh, realized that we have to start producing and recording and making music. And I took this, I, I put this duty on my shoulders and uh, now I'm fully, uh, how to say, full stack producer and sound engineer for this band. And I've all, already arranged and mixed two albums. Uh, uh, I hope uh, we will develop our process and some maybe in future I will mix less songs and more mm -hmm. focused on music production and uh, Maybe we will combine several songs. I will mix several songs. I uh, will mix somebody else just to be, just to stay objective, not subjective. Because okay. mixing your own music is a little bit subjective because you focus usually you focus on the things you've been producing, uh, for instance, and uh, you may lose something on or put an accent on uh, not right things something like that. But yes, okay. I'm a mixing engineer and musical okay. producer. Okay. Right, okay. I um, Listening to your uh, latest album, Talk To Me, it was the first time I have ever listened to your music. I, I, I didn't know what to expect. So after the second song, I, I started realizing that you are fusing quite many different sounds together. So I couldn't really put you under a a music category if, if that's you know if that makes sense so if someone asked you to put your music under a, a set a certain category what would this be if any and and, and why mm. i think i'd say for, uh first of all we call our music genre is dream rock alternative dream rock uh i uh, it's it is better to call our music just an alternative rock or alternative metal, I think, mm -hmm. from <laughs> alternative rock for the first album and alternative metal for the second, mm -hmm. uh, I presume. Uh, I mean that the idea with combining of different genres came um, during our, I would say, growth. And uh, now we have, this came because everybody in our band has uh, different tastes. Mm -hmm. So we've been arguing uh, how to play this part, how to play this, uh, should we go heavier or should we go more pop style? And in the end, we uh, agreed to combine different genres, genres. And now I think we may call our music just a, an alternative metal music, something like that. I would call I it alternative music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's more than metal because if you listen to Blizzard, the, the third song, it's not metal at all. But if you listen to the last song or the first song, it's yep. definitely metal. Mm -hmm. And uh, our idea was how to combine these genres in one equal sound to, for instance, the pop song to sound hard and heavy and the metal song to sound a little bit softer than just um, just the chords and the aggressive fight. No, you know,
know this industry is quite problematic, quite complicated because there are different formations like metal, rock, indie, and as well, there are you know huge number of festivals. Like we are too, let's say metalish, uh, not metalish. We yes, yes, we are too metalish for rock festivals. Mm -hmm. We are not very metal for metal festivals. Yeah. We are quite rock for pop festivals. And that is why for us extremely difficult to go and participate uh, or you know at this or that particular festival because you know there are a bunch of different bands that sound um similar to each other and that mm -hmm. is the problem but at the same time that is a great plus but uh, we are at this stage right now that we are trying to find our own path and we're just trying to break through and that that is extremely difficult uh, so we have to have good reputation and then I believe that uh, I suppose that we're quite interested in band and I believe that it will help us in the future. But at this very moment, that is quite difficult to break through because there is huge metal formation where bands play yeah. almost the same music and but still they are on the stage <laughs> because people love this type of music. You know, I, I think that um, so we have to have interesting bands, a lot of, you know, special music. Maybe it will be, you know, a bit harder to break through and just to go on the stage and play. But at the very end, these bands, they they form and they develop music mm -hmm. industry. Maybe, I, may, maybe I'm wrong. This is just my opinion. It is. You, you, you stand out. You have very interesting sounds. And uh, the fact that you're fusing so many different music elements together, it's, it's not easy to do, I, I don't think. And doing it well, uh, it's really important. And, and you're doing that. You're doing that, guys. I at least, you. you know, I, I believe so. Uh, so well done for that. I, I really enjoy listening to, to your um to your album uh so who is writing the music for your songs is it for each one on the own or or together as a band so how's the, the music writing author i mean you know I'm, I'm i'm writing the lyrics the melodies the main structure for the songs and mm -hmm. then me and eugene mostly working on the ar arrangements in the music mm -hmm. the, the production and uh, of course the rest of the band uh, they they help us but I would say at the final stage, when we're writing the instruments, they, they have a lot of ideas. But yes, yeah. mostly me and Eugene are involved in the, the, the process of writing. It depends on the point of view. But usually, yes, Vlad starts the songs. Sometimes mm -hmm. I can throw some my demos to Vlad and uh, he can put uh, vocals on, above it and add guitars and then we will develop the song. But Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. the main melody and the lyrics uh, it's every, it's flat. It's his uh, duty and his, uh, I'd say, talent. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Um, also, while I was listening to your album, and I think because of all these fused uh, music elements that I could I could hear, and I, I was I was experiencing while I was listening to it. Um, <laughs> I was very curious about your musical influences. So can you, each one of you, give me one band or one artist who really influenced you or keep in influencing you uh, while you making your music? Eugene. Uh, okay. Uh, to tell the truth, my favorite band is Messi Fete. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, I like a variety of metal bands. Uh, when I was young, I listened to bands such as Slipknot and uh, Korn and, uh, and other, but uh, right now I like I enjoy bands that, uh, how to say, do not put them into frames. For instance, I like David Bowie very, very much because David never put himself in frames. He, has, he had no edges with his style. He can, he could produce one album in um, say glam rock style and another album in uh, pop uh, or electro, something like that. Then I like Jimmy Rockwai, the band uh, from England. It's one of the best performing band, band in the world. Mm, I, I don't know. Uh, I like, uh, furthermore, I like some several bands and 
even very hard, very, very heavy bands. Uh, I mean, uh, like Thai Art and Murder. I like how this band performs them, its music. Uh, it's really sounds life very professional and uh, let's say it's like a, a machine when you're listening to a drummer playing with bass and guitars. It sounds like a machine, not like a human being. <laughs> uh, that's it for me. Mm, I, like, I, like, uh, I like listening to yeah, a lot of different bands, but I would like to divide this, this topic into two parts. Mm -hmm. The bands that, yes, influenced our music and the bands I like. I think that, yes, um, I like Dream Theater, maybe him and a theme uh, the gays and used Queen, of course, and those bands influenced me, and as a result, as a, as a, as a, as a consequence, they, they, they influenced our music. But mostly, yes, yes, Le uh, Leprous as well, the band from Norway, wonderful progressive old band, uh, yep. and, uh, and a theme, maybe, yes, the gathering as well, and Dream Theater, maybe, to some extent, because we have a lot of. Um, uh, I, I, would, uh, I, I would call that as proggy music mm -hmm. parts. Yep. So yes, this been definitely um, influenced, but mostly, mostly uh, Dream Theory in, in, uh, influenced uh, our first album, I guess, because it's more art rock album, but, but, but this album, um, maybe Leprous were even uh, even bring the horizon because we have a lot of waves like that, especially the first song, which is called Beer and Mouse Way. But still, a lot of bands. album I was impressed by the production and, and the mixing as I said before you have so many different sounds and I'm guessing uh, it's really difficult to put them all together from a, a sound perspective uh, in order to to have a very smooth result um, so can you tell us a bit about the mixing and the mastering of the album uh, yes yeah. mm. Eugene, go go ahead man okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, first of all before mixing you should talk a little bit about music production because if you have a bad arrangement and a bad production, you will never have a good mixing. Uh, maybe only in case when you have only several tracks. <laughs> but uh, I would say, um, yes, we have a quite complicated music production um, approach, but I think it works. Uh, for instance, for several tracks, we have uh, for several songs, we have uh, projects with over 200 tracks per one song. Okay. It's usually it's over too much, but we had to combine and to make layers of guitars, layers of vocals, layers mm -hmm. of synthesizers, of drums. I could not leave my drum sound raw, and uh, I just wanted to. Um, to check every hit, every snare, every symbol, and to combine, to layer it with different sounds. And uh, the idea was to create the equal sound for all these thongs, songs and uh, the equal sound for all the components. Then I mixed the album I've been mixing for, I think, three months. Okay. And uh, the mastering, we hired uh, the guy, we asked, hired the guy, uh, Akal Kani. Uh, yeah, he's a guitarist from Tesseract, mm -hmm. the band. 
And also he is a musical master engineer. He has a certificate of for mastering for iTunes. He is a really professional. Mm -hmm. And we so sent him mix, mixed tracks and he made mastering for us. Also he uh, mixed, he mastered, sorry, he mastered not only for digital, uh, uh, not only for digital publishing, but also we created a separate master for vinyl. Okay. And and we now we dist distribute CDs, uh, digital publishing, and vinyls. And that's it. We yes, two stages uh, production and mixing we held by ourselves, and mastering we made outsourced. Was a, it's a really good job done. Um, yeah. So, as we said before, Talk To Me was released uh, in the end of April. Um, what feedback have you got so far, guys? And what's next? Do you have any plans for any live performances or tours or any other projects at all? Good question. Good question and very complicated question. Because, you know, right now we are still here in Belarus and we are stuck with quite difficult situation in our country. So yes, we, we don't want to reveal our, our plans, but yes, definitely we, we are supposed to go on tour and uh, we, we hope to participate in festival this summer, maybe not because the season is, is, is about to go to an end, but still uh, right now, yes, um, we are supposed to play live plus uh, we are going to release our next music video, I guess, at the very end, of, at the very beginning of, uh, of autumn. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, again, regarding the feedback for the record, it is wonderful. We have a lot of new audience, a lot of new people. We grew 10 times, even 11 times in Spotify. Uh, a lot of reviews, uh, great feedback, but still that is not enough in this for this industry we have a lot of um we have we need resources to invest so in order to promote music because that is you know huge competitiveness around and uh it doesn't actually really matter if your music is very nice or, or not so you have to be competitive you have to have resources you have to perform you have to you have to have your own team yeah. and stuff that is difficult but still Everything is positive regarding our, our album, but we have to grow, we have to write new music. And yes, as, as I have just mentioned, we have to prepare the next two videos. The first one maybe at the very beginning of the autumn and the next one maybe at the end of the year for two songs from, uh, from the latest record. And, and after gigs, 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 and gigs. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. I think we still have problems with coverage. We have a very positive uh, feedback, but we have some problems, as Vlad noted, mentioned. Uh, we are running out of resources, and we need more resources to yeah, to increase the coverage, and everything will be fine. I think we should stay consistent and believe in what we are doing, and we should look. Uh, uh, look through any possibility to promote our music. Yes, and this is what we this is what we are doing right now. Mm -hmm. So I hope it, it is a difficult. It has been a very difficult situation as well with uh, COVID and everything. And yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, last question. Mission Jupiter, it is the time for us to leave this earth for Mission Jupiter. Each one of us can take one song with them in order to make our, I'll use my radio show uh, title mm. here, our Cosmic Fuse Mission Playlist. So one song, each one of you, what song would you take with you? The song from our latest album. Which one, sorry? The song from our latest album, you know, one song from me and from Eugene, or, or the song in general. Oh, no, I would Do say a, 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 a song well, in general. I'll take a song from your latest album, don't worry. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go on. 
Ah, me? Okay, okay, okay. I think Blizzard. Okay. It's my favorite song. Mm -hmm. Ah, complicated. Um, I would, I would say on my own. Can you say that again, sorry? On my own. Very good choice. Track number four. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you very much, guys. Um, it it was lovely having you here. Mission Jupiter, we have Vladimir and uh, Eugene. Um, mm -hmm. Album Talk to Me it was released um, 30th of April. Is that correct? Do I remember the, the date um, correctly? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I hope all the best and I really hope I can uh, uh, see you soon uh, in one of the live performances. Uh, I will, uh, uh, as soon as it will be announced, uh, I will be there. I promise to be out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.